I had been in, in San Antonio for a while and I noticed that there was a big stray problem. I decided that it would be smarter just to start our own nonprofit and I decided to create Footbridge Foundation. I was actually taken in street dogs on my own. Um, I had taken in about eight dogs in one year. I just see roaming dogs without collars on the street and I would pull over and kind of take them in and, and rehome them. So it was getting really expensive. <laughs> so I decided to partner with Footbridge because they, they help cover all the costs needed to take care of the dogs and then also vetting owners and making sure that they get into a good home. We have about 450 plus cats and dogs come through Footbridge Foundation each year to find homes. And then we do spay neuter surgery on 600 animals total a year. The strays come into our office here where we are today and we line up appointments and then they're seen by our veterinary staff and then we determine if they need surgery we do photographs here, we write bios for the animals, we give them their vaccines, we microchip them and do diagnostic testing and then they're available for adoption. I am one of the veterinarians that uh, assists the Footbridge Foundation with spay and neuter surgeries for animals that are uh, either going to other rescue groups um, or being adopted here locally. Uh, we just basically wanna make sure we, we sterilize them so that they're not going to be able to reproduce as we have a huge um, overpopulation of pets in this area and pretty much all over Texas. Um, we also do preventive medicine here, making sure that we uh, keep animals up to date on vaccinations um, and then things like uh, heartworm testing other, other uh, aspects of preventive health. I had fostered dogs for many years and I always loved walking them through the King William neighborhood and across the footbridge on Johnson Street. One day it struck me that the bridge itself was becoming symbolic. Around the time that the dogs got the hang of their little claws touching the metal surface of the bridge, they also forgot their desperate paths and became ready to move into their happy futures. So shortly after this revelation, I started Footbridge Foundation. Oh.